Welcome back, Wolfpack. I'm Tenley Lilligard. And I'm Karina Gonzalez. Today is Tuesday, January 7th. Hope you all had a great winter break. Let's get started with your morning announcements. Attention anyone interested in playing on the men's golf team this spring. There is an informational meeting on Tuesday, January 14th in Coach Milgram's room, HLA After School. There will be tryouts and cuts this year. Tryout days Tryout days and spots will need to be signed up for ahead of time. If you can't, if you can't attend the meeting, please stop by Coach Milgram's room after Tuesday to pick up the information you missed. Conditioning for this year's girls' soccer program will start Tuesday, January 14th at the stadium. You must bring a copy of your physical and emergency information. If you have any questions, see Coach Candy or Coach Paul around campus. Performing Arts will be hosting the 4th Annual Winter Art Show in the Culinary Building on Thursday, January 16th from 5.30 to 7.30. The show will feature works from arts, ceramics, photo classes. Come see what the Seal Arts has to offer. Now let's pass it on over to Andrew and Aaron for your sports update. Hey there, Wolfpack. It's time for your winter sports update. I'm Andrew Kagiyama. And I'm Aaron Schritz. Now let's get it started. Over the break, the wrestling team has competed in a handful of tournaments prepping for the regular season. First, the varsity team took second at the Granite Bay Dual Tournament. Sophomores Jeff Bowers, junior RJ Wakefield, and senior Tyler Martin all received all tournament honors for going 5-0 throughout the day. This past weekend, the varsity team went out to Livermore for the Granada High School Mat Classic. Senior Tyler Martin won the 195 pound bracket and junior Armando Glenn won the 220 pound bracket. Tomorrow night, the team will start off league hosting El Dorado in the Wolf Den at five. Our men's varsity basketball team is looking phenomenal and now have a 13 and one overall record and are one and zero in league thanks to their latest win against Union Mine where the Wolfpack easily progressed to a 71 to 45 win. They're currently ranked at a stunning 66 in the state of California. Stay tuned as the Wolfpack takes on River City today at home here in the Wolf Den. Normal season prices are in effect and as always ASB will get you through the door for free. The Wolfpack women's basketball comp competed in two tournaments over the break taking second in both. They first went out to Stockton to play in the McNair shootout. The team won their first two games against Stag and Buha Colony, but fell short to McNair. The girls then hosted their annual Running with the Pack tournament, winning against South Tahoe and Antelope, but lost to Argonaut in the championship game. However, the ladies came back strong in their league opener against Union Mine High School, winning 54-31. Tonight, the Wolfpack will take on the defending SBC League champions, the River City Raiders, in an away game. Our senior Colin Betancourt won Sierra Valley Conference MVP for his part in the championship run with our varsity men's soccer team. And we were able to sit down and talk to him about this amazing accomplishment. My name is Colin Betancourt and I've been playing soccer for 13 years. What I took out of my high school soccer experience is you have to learn to play for something bigger than yourself. For me, being MVP of the Sierra Valley Conference is huge. There are great players in our league. To know that out of everyone that the coaches chose me, it's an amazing feeling, but I know that I couldn't have done it without my other teammates. I'm proud of my team working hard on and off the field. We're like a group of brothers, and I just want to say congratulations, guys. We deserve this. I plan on playing soccer in college at University of the Pacific under Coach Ryan Gould. Well, that's all we have for you today. Until next time, I'm Aaron Tritz. And I'm Andrew Kagiyama. Keep pushing the pace, Wolfpack. The Winter Sadie's Dance is on January 25th. The theme is black and white, and tickets are now on sale. Yearbooks can still be bought in the student store or on yearbookforever.com. The price is now $100. 
There is a fan appreciation event tonight before the basketball game and halftime. Free hot dogs for everyone before the varsity game who buys a ticket. And special halftime prizes for the COHS crowd. Well, that's all we have for you today. I'm Karina Gonzalez. And I'm Tenley Lilligard. Be a 10 today, Wolf Pack. And remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Have, have a great start, start of the new term. term.